The final topic on numerical integration is improper integrals. And improper integrals, uh, one example of those, is the integral from negative infinity to infinity of f of x uh, dx. Now this is problematic because all of the things that we've come up with so far only work with finite limits of integration. And so this is, this is a problem. Uh, but what we can do is, uh, just like we did with the Gauss quadrature uh, formulas uh, that we t uh, talked about previously, we know that we can transform the limits of integration. Well, there's, there's a nice formula that works well in this situation to transform these, these uh, limits of integration with an infinity in them. And that is uh, this formula, the integral from a to b of f of x dx equals the integral from 1 over a to 1 over b of uh, 1 over t squared. Well, let's not let that. Ooh. 1 over t squared f of t. Well, I think it's one f of 1 over t uh, dt. OK, so uh, we have this formula, and we can transform uh, the limits of integration. But this is only good for a, b greater than 0. All right, so a and b both have to be positive. And by the way, this is nice because when we have a limit, one of the limits is infinity. If we transform 1 over infinity, well, that's, uh, that's, that's 0. So, um, so that's sort of a nice, uh, a nice uh, result. It'll be a nice um, limit to use. So this is only good when a, b equals 0, or greater than 0. So both of them either have to be positive or negative. So how would we deal with this, like something from negative infinity to infinity of f of x dx? Well, um, you can see we could do, we could split that into three pieces, for example. So we could go the integral from negative infinity to uh, negative, I'm just going to give it some number a of f of x dx, plus the integral from uh, negative a to b, um, and where b where b is greater than zero, and negative a is less than zero, of course, of f of x dx plus the integral from b to infinity of f of x dx. And you can see we won't need to transform these limits because they're already finite. Uh, negative b to a, or negative a to b, these are already finite, so we're good. Um, we'll need to uh, transform this one and this one, and as you can see, uh, we have um, a, b, uh, these, these two limits multiply together is positive here, and these two limits multiply together again is positive. And so that's how uh, we do the transformation. And uh, there, there is one other thing that you'll notice here, and that is the fact that we have uh, a function, the, the transformed function, and at one of the limits it will be um, singular. W what we mean by that is we're going to have a zero here in, in the denominator, right? That's, and, and so that's going to be bad uh, because obviously... 1 over infinity is 0, as I mentioned earlier, and so we're going to have a 0, and so, okay, well, what do we do there? Well, um, what we can do is instead of using a uh, closed integration formula for that one, we can use one of the open integration formulas. And so we can use the open integration formula near that point, and then uh, we can use a, a closed integration formula for uh, the rest of the interval. And so that's what we do. And um, we, can, we can also, if, if we don't have to do this twice like we have to do in this case, uh, where, we, where, we, where we actually have uh, two situations where, where we have to do it, you, you can also, where we have um, zero in, in the limits of integration, in the transformed limits of integration, uh, you can do the same thing then uh, with, uh, so we could do, for example, we could do this with an open, um, open method, we could do this with a closed method, and we could do this with an open, like like, a, like an open um, Newton-Coates formula or something. Uh, if we only had an interval like from negative a to 
uh, infinity or something where we had a constant on one of the on one of the limits we may only have to do we may only do closed uh, integration for one of part of it and then an open for the other and and so forth so so you get the idea and that's that's basically the approach that we take to do um, to do improper integrals